Right, hi, good morning. Um, this cloth was born from my last online embroidery class. Um, and basically, I was looking through a box for something and I found a lot of samples that were just samples and weren't made into anything, which is fine. I quite like having samples. But we were making a wrapping cloth in class um, and I'd already pieced this panel. Okay, so that was pieced with the girls in class, that one this one and worked on with the girls in class so all the processes on here were part of the class okay and then these but these this this bit this bit this bit and this bit were all in the box they were out of the box so and it's quite likely that these ones will find the way on here so this one okay and that one and that one so this wrapping cloth nothing matches but I think I've said before I've made a video about this before um, this piece and I don't mind I don't care it's for me and it's just yeah I don't care um, that nothing matches I am trying in some respects to bring it together a little bit more for example over here the first time I joined something I used fabrics that weren't present anywhere, these three, okay, to make prairie points. So when I joined this piece here, I used the same fabric to make prairie points over here. So what I need to do is, some of the seams need a bit more. Now I'm a bit concerned about all the white space on here, to be honest, just let me, on this bit. So I did think about, oh, I've made a lot of stuff at Puffs. I did think about this, okay, but really, to me, they're just going to look plonked, I think, but what I might do, although I haven't decided yet, is make some massive um, gingham suffolk puffs and put them on somewhere, but I'm going to concentrate on the seams first, so I made all these suffolk puffs last night, okay, stitched them all last night, and I'm thinking... My initial thought was alternate them. Yeah, you, know, you can't see that one, can you? Let me. There it is. Alternate them, pink and blue, pink and blue. But then I thought, no, I don't want to do that. It's too uh, predictable. So what I'm going to do is do one colour of seams. So I'll put blue on there. There's ten blue and ten pink. I can easily make some more if I need to. Um, I think that'll be, yeah, so that'll be enough for there. Okay, that'll do that seam. And then the other seam is over here, this one. I could do the pink ones that are bad, but maybe there's too much pink over there. Maybe I should do the blue over here, because it's pink, pink. And I might do the blue over here, actually, but there. So, yeah, I'm going to swap them, just let me see. Blue, 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 blue. Yeah, that's going to be better, isn't it? Um, but I'm going to go back. I'll take them off now. I'm going to go back over here because <coughs> there is a lot. <coughs> excuse me. There is a lot of white space here that I'm not exactly happy with. Um, so. I will make an assessment when I've secured all these down and I'm thinking, I normally don't mind covering bits of embroidery with something, but I'm getting up here and I'm going to be covering that. Would it look stupid? This is part of, this is what happens, you discuss things. Might look alright like that actually, leaving a space for that. So it'd be like that. So I'll make an assessment. I mean, I could put some down here. That's actually too near the end because I don't want that to get caught in a seam. So yeah, these are kind of the dilemmas of an embroiderer. Um, I haven't got in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There should be another one. Pocket under there. Go 
cells there. Okay. Should be another pink one. Can't see it, probably can't see it falling. Um, oh, it's on the floor. Hang on. Good job, the floor's clean. Right now, I don't actually, that's going to be enough because something else is going to come here at some point. So I'll put them on and make an assessment and then if I think about, so something's going to come on there as well. So let me just play with it, not necessarily this bit, but if I play with this bit. Might not look too bad. So then there's another piece added to it, you know what I mean? I know you can't really see it. That's a better view and also a better view of me there and the disarray around me. Might be major renovation works done next week and I'm gonna disappear for a while, but I've got all stuff moved around the house and pans in here and um, anyway, <coughs> so if there's anything going on around me that you think what on earth's going on there, what a mess, please. Give me a, it's uh, essential. So, oh, get this one. Maybe this one. Don't know which one I'm going to put up here yet, but. I mean, I'm not saying that I won't make anything either for this. Um, I may well make something to go on there. Um, but yeah, and the other thing I could do, so say I use that piece, I could make a huge prairie point to come out of there. So that would cover some white space, so I may not actually have to add anything on here. Oh, there's nothing to stop me embroidering in here, you know, nothing. I could do some more web stitches scattered about. So, but that's my thinking at the minute. Suffolk puffs for seams and <coughs> embellishing white space. Let me pull in again because that's it. I'll just show you quickly how I'm going to attach these. Um, Get a needle. I'll literally, when I've made them, I'll leave my threads, pull my threads to the back. Now, a lot of people as well have suffered puffs that way, but I like to see the pleating and the folding on the front. So I just get a needle with a sharp point, and then I get that. The ends, okay, from where I've tied it off. Thread them on my needle and just put them through to the back and tie them. It's very easy. Very easy. So, yeah, please excuse me for not being around for a couple of weeks. It's going to be chaos. I've moved all my embroidery upstairs because I don't want it getting covered in dust and grime and stuff. So. I'm very excited, but I sometimes think it would have just been easier to move house. But that's another whole set of problems, isn't it? So, take it through to the back and then just fasten it off. So yeah, I hope you're all keeping well. I'm going to thank you again for being here. My views on my videos on YouTube and my subscriber numbers, it's amazing. Um, amazing, so thank you. And please think about visiting my blog as well. I'd love to get visitors over there. There, so the only other thing to say before I go, when I put them on here, I'll have to be careful here because that's a pocket, okay. So I'll have to put this one on, so, and then tie it inside not tie the pocket together if that makes sense so there yeah so i'm sorry i'm going to be disappearing i'd quite like to have kept going keep the momentum going um, <clears throat> but i can't can't help it it's it's just something that has to be done so but i will be back as soon as i can with another video i promise you